how as a development team because i you know obviously not everyone has had the opportunity to fly a real a320 who has the data for that how do you ensure that the changes you're making are are true to life and as accurate as possible to the real aircraft yeah we have uh, actually a good amount of real a320 pilots and uh, technicians in our discord so we have a, a separate role for them um, and then we have actually a channel called like pilot feedback where we kind of run through new changes or proposals with them and kind of just get their detailed feedback, get their tests of uh, upcoming features in and kind of see how they, how they think it stacks up to real life. Um, sure. So I say we, we do kind of put a good emphasis on trying to be as accurate as we can to real life. Have you, have you sat down diving into the Airbus manuals? Has it been an enjoyable experience learning about the little intricacies of the Airbus? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a few would... pages. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few, yeah. I, I guess that, that leads quite nicely on to the complexity of the systems on the A380, because certainly from a P3D and X-Plane standpoint, I can say in the time I've been in the flight sim community over the last five or six years, we've had a lot of developers who have been keen to develop the A380, um, but we've we've never seen a high quality A380 come to fruition in in any sim really. How it, it's quite a big task. So how 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 can you be sure you're prepared for something like that? Have you already got the data that you think you'll need, and do you think all the systems on the A380 will be able to be simulated accurately, or are there going to be some things that are dulled down from the real aircraft yeah so so compared to the a320 we don't have quite as much data on the a380 but we do think it is sufficient enough for a decently uh, high fidelity aircraft uh, like you mentioned yeah there is a bit of an a380 curse in, in flight simulation yeah. um and i guess just people kind of jump into development for that not realizing how big of a task it is and with our work on the A320, we kind of have that kind of experience to realize, yeah, this is a kind of overwhelming task, but if we plan it out, um, it's it's definitely doable. Um, one of the good things is that with like Airbus's philosophy, there's still a fair amount of commonality between a lot of their aircrafts. Um, so yeah. the fly-by-wire systems and the autopilot systems aren't too different. There's still a good amount of differences, but with our experience, we have one of really talented uh, developers uh, who's worked on our custom autopilot and fly-by-wire, Andreas? Um, it we do have the data to kind of uh, like kind of adjust that what we've built so far with AT20 to work accurately for the A380 as well. Um, obviously, there are a lot of intricacies, especially with, like the fuel system and everything specific to the A380. But I do think we'll be able to make a, a decently high-quality aircraft uh, in that. Sure, we had a right. few people on the question form sorry alex they were just asking specifically about um break to vacate because that's quite an iconic feature of the a380 do you see any problems um in being able to hopefully add that to 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 your rendition yeah that that's a really uh requested feature and one we definitely want to implement um the issue at the moment is that's not currently possible with the sdk given that we don't have any information on taxiways um, we sure. put that in our request to, to Sobo, so I believe it might be in their backlog. So by the time we do get to the actual development, kind of like an alpha release of the aircraft, it most likely will be done. Okay. Uh, we'll so you can do it if a Sobo let you? Basically, yeah. We just need the data on taxiways, and we're good to go. Perfect. 